Make pivot point visible and change transformation mode here. For example, you have a couple of objects and you need to rotate every single cube to a specific direction, but your object should stay at the original position. If I do this right now, then all selected objects rotate around the visual center of selection. But I don't want that. And I want this instead. Then it is time to use transform pivot point. Standardly, the pivot point is invisible in Blender 2.9 or 2.8. And this is what many people don't like when they come from Blender 2.79. But it is very easy to enable the pivot point by clicking one of those icons in the toolbar or go to Gizmo, Object Gizmo and select Transform Rotate Scale. Please consider that the pivot point is something different than 3D cursor or the origin point. Those mentioned points could be a reference for the pivot point, but more to this later. The pivot point functionality depends on your selection in object and edit mode and influences transform rotation and scale. When you open Blender without any custom startup adjustments, then the software have select medium point by default. You are able to change this by open this panel here. But what does medium point actually do and what is the difference to the others here? The bounding box is a rectangular box that is wrapped as tightly as possible around the selection. It is orientated parallel to the world axis. In this mode the pivot point lies at the center of the bounding box. Funny is that in object mode, transformation takes place relative to the location of the object origin and the size of object is not taken into account. The bounding box in edit mode takes no account of the object's origins only the center of the selected vertices. The 3D cursor is the most intuitive of the pivot points. With the 3D cursor selected as the active pivot point, simply position the 3D cursor and then do the required transformation. All rotation and scaling transformations will be done relative to the location of the 3D cursor. Actually, there is no difference for object edit mode. In object mode, the origin of an object is shown in the 3D view by a small orange cycle. It tells Blender the relative position of the object in 3D space. In edit mode, when you rotate or scale the touching faces or edges, they are treated as a single element and retain the shape of the group. Each group is transformed independently around its median point. The median point can be considered to be broadly similar to the concept of center of gravity. In object mode, Blender only considers the object origins and data mines the center of points with most objects. In edit mode, the medium point is determined via the part of the selection that has the most elements or geometry. The active element can be an object, vertex, edge or a face. The active element is the last one to be selected and will be shown in a lighter orange color when in object mode and a white when in edit mode. With active element as pivot set to active, all transformation will occur relative to the active element. When in object mode, rotation and scaling happen around the origin of the active object. In edit mode, when one single element is selected, it becomes automatically active. When multiple elements are selected, they all transform. The pivot points stay at the same place. At least I wanted to present you all of these modes in a short way. This function can be really useful when you want to model or play something. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. It would be very nice to give this video a like and or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more game dev videos. Cheers!